what is up everyone this is youtube ken i'm back with another video i did a software update two days ago that was 2021.24.4 i have been waiting forever to get the updated things that you're seeing on youtube right now actually today two days later another update and i think it was just improvements to all of the things in the 2021.24 software release i was gonna review the 2021.24.4 but i'm gonna just do the 2021.24.10 10. So I showed you a little bit of that of me updating the software just in case you was curious of how it goes What we're gonna do is just kind of go through everything if I can show you I'm gonna show you the first thing is uh, Disney plus a great addition to um, the Tesla theater that we have in the car that I'll show you is located right here And that's how it looks now and you don't see any history of 24.4 for some reason I guess it all like groups everything together. So we did cover Disney Plus and then now is the car wash mode. And what that is, it'll close all the windows, lock the charge port and disables windshield wipers, sentry mode, walkway door locks, park sensor chimes, pretty much everything. Go into the controls and we're gonna go into service. And you'll see it right there, car wash mode. And if we click on it, we can enter car wash mode. I already hear the car doing something. Keep speed below 10 miles per hour. Charge port door locked. Walk away door lock is off. Automatic wipers are off. Unfold the mirrors if you want. Please brake and shift to D to enable. So I'm just gonna do it for all. I shouldn't move or anything. And then it'll enable, if I got my feet on the brake, I can enable free roll if I click on it. Vehicle remain in neutral and free rolling, automatic shift to park when exiting vehicle disabled, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is exit. Okay, and the next one is the mirror auto dim. You can enable or disable it now. I'll show you kind of on the screen what it is. By default, before the update, it was automatically enabled. If you'll see, whenever you put the car in drive, it goes very dark. And then once you put the car in park, it will gradually light back up. So that kind of just shows you. I just don't want to tell you. I want to like show you things. But I think that's a great addition because if it's at night, it's always dark. And then once I disable it, if you turn it off where you have free reins to it, it will always pretty much be clear. The next one is dash cam improvements. And what it says is dash cam can now automatically save clips whenever your vehicle detects the occurrence of a safety event such as an accident or airbag deployment. Recordings captured are stored locally and never transmitted to Tesla, which is a good thing. To opt in, tap control, safety and security. Now we're gonna just say auto. So we're gonna just accept that. It's now range display. As you see right up here, I have 276 miles on my battery. If I'm driving and if I wanna kinda see what the percentage is, I have to go down here. Then I go into display and then I'll scroll and then I have to flip it to percentage, as you can see like that. So I have to flip it back and forth, and as you can see up here, it keeps changing. I don't have to do that anymore. So now with the update, you can now switch between battery percentage and descent units by tapping the range display next to the battery icon. So up here, you're not gonna tap the battery. So if you tap the battery, it's gonna bring up your charging just like before. And if you tap it, it goes away. So if I tap the actual mileage or the percentage, it changes. And it'll save it in your profile as well. You tap it, it's just a quick little tap. I really think this is convenient. And if somebody's driving and they really need to see that, what'll end up happening is they can just tap now. Remain connected to Wi-Fi and drive. So let's just say I'm in neutral still, didn't even know that. Go to drive and you see it's still connected to my wi-fi so that's really a great addition and also you get new language support hungarian romanian russian i honestly think that's a big update so that's pretty much for 2021.24 i did make a video a while back testing autopilot if you want to check that video out i'll leave that right up here where you can click on it and go straight to it i might not do it today i'll probably do it tomorrow and then i'll incorporate that in this video hey we're just having fun.